to the computer. Well, good morning, good morning and good afternoon and good evening to some of you who I know are watching from the other side of the world. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm so, so excited to be sharing this presentation with you today. And it's another level on last month's presentation and, um, uh, you know, talking about energy work and, and how it affects us and, and how we can use it in our life to be more successful and attract more. And um, yeah, so so another another level because what I do know is like mindset alone is mindset is fantastic. Where we learn a lot of mindset, um, you know, a lot about mindset and, and the tools of mindset, which is fantastic. But not many people are aware that unless you've got um, you've got your alignment of your energy with your your mindset. And your and your frequency is aligned to what you want. It's difficult to attract what you're actually trying to go for. So, so I feel this is a really important topic that um, people um, are missing. And I'm going to share with you at the end some tools which will help you align your frequency to your uh, mindset and um, your energy so that you can create more of what you want in your life. So pretty excited and welcome, welcome, welcome. Thanks for joining here. A little bit about me, if, for those who don't know me, um, my name's Jo and I'm an emotional empowerment coach and a healer, energy healer. I've been supporting women with uh, the last few years um, Pretty much since the pandemic, I sort of pivoted to helping women more in, you know, overwhelm and stress and anxiety because I could see that what was happening in the world was really going to be, um, you know, affecting a lot more people. And um, so I, I then I, I pivoted to work with women to support them in this area. But I've been in the health and wellness and healing industry for, and the professional development industry for over 32 years. Um, sorry, eight, 38 years, but 32 of those years, um, I've been coaching more along the lines of health and wellness and then moved into um, when I when I found that, you know, there was more to what was happening in, in people's lives and just you know, what they were putting in their body or trying to put in their body. They were really, you know, wanting to do the right thing, but there was, think, there was you know, blocks and what things getting in the way of them actually doing it. That's when I went and studied more about the mind and how, it, you know, it's interest, 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 intricate workings of the mind and how it was um, affecting people from moving forward in their life. And I, I studied NLP and hypnosis. Um, I've always dabbled in a lot of different modalities over the years. I've done some tapping and different things that I know that are gonna, I can share with uh, women to help them, you know, um, move forward easily and effortlessly without having to be held back from all the blocks. And limiting beliefs is a big one that we carry that, you know, inhibits us from really moving into the direction that we want so um, with these tools, it's been, um, it's been a game changer because it's, it, it creates permanent, when you can tap into the unconscious mind, it creates permanent um, change, which is what we want. We want, don't want to keep falling back into the same old patterns. We want to move through them as we find them. And the tools I'll be sharing today will help you find and move through them easily. Um, so you know, and this is what I help people. This is what people tell me or my women tell me that they find when they work with me either in one-on-one -on -one or in my group programs um, and in the tools that I share out into the world. So uh, they find themselves, they find their purpose and passion to move forward powerfully towards their dreams. They step into the power, a power that they never imagined they could and live the life they love. Um, they're living freely from a place of contentment and calm. Like, you know, can you just feel into that? You know, who we all want to live from that place of contentment and calm and knowing, you know, just having trust and faith that everything's going to be okay. Everything's going to turn out okay. So, um, and empowering them to thrive, not just survive. And, and a lot of 
lot of women and, and not just women and men have been in survival mode in particularly in the last couple of years and it's 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 challenging um it's 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 time to really align with yourself and live your own dream so that you can, you can be strong in your you know mental strength in where you're heading in life so and living from a place of abundance and joy who doesn't want to live from that place and so that's what I'm all about and the three three key things that you will learn today about attuning your frequency which I will I tell you is the secret source for mastering your life and your manifestation power and attracting more more to you that you want to attract so um what does it mean what does you know, tuning your frequency mean, first of all, we'll go into that. Secondly, uh, why is it important to align your frequency? Why is it important, you know, and we'll go into that. And how to attune and stay in your frequency for su success. Uh, but also noticing those signs along the way so that you, um, you know, you create more awareness so that you can bring yourself back into alignment in any given moment when you need it. And, you um, Yes, yeah, so without further ado, I'm not even, I haven't even got my timer here, so I've got to watch where we go. Oh, 11, 11, auspicious, auspicious. So what does attuning your frequency mean? Well, as, we, as Einstein said, everything is energy and that's all there is. And when you match the frequency of the reality that you want to create, you cannot help but get that reality. So, you know, there can be no other way, as he says. So it's it's not philo philosophy, it's physics. And I just love that. Um, I shared that one last month and I just it just really lands, doesn't it, when you think of everything as energy, you know, and it's measured by a frequency with actually within a device that if the creator to do this called an accelerometer. Accelerometer. <laughs> I don't know if I'm saying that right, but it sounds good, um, which senses vibration. So this is not just, you know, airy-fairy, you know, out there, hoo-woo-woo-woo. -woo -woo. It's actually measured. It's science, right? So um, so as humans, now as human beings, we're actually also, you know, vibrating at a frequency, so an energy frequency. And um, so how you're feeling in every given moment is the vibration that you transmit out into the world just like a radio transmitter you know like a radio signal so have you ever noticed when you um walk into a crowded room and some people just stand out you know they're friend they're happy they're they're smiling they're animated they're having fun like that energy we are all attracted to that and it's like oh I really want to go talk to that person, you know, and, and vibrate at that frequency and get some of that energy because that's how it works. And when you get attuned into your own frequency and energy, you're very much more aware of, um, you know, it's more of a directing energy of where you want to go in your, and it can, and you can really, you know, listen deeply and, and it'll help guide you. And we'll talk a little bit about that in a minute um, to where you want to go. So, so recognizing when you are out of energetic frequency in your body, um, so you can adjust and attune your body, and just like a tuning fork. Okay, so that's how it works. That's you know when you practice it, when you get good at you know learning to listen, um, you can use it as your tuning fork. How cool is that? And um, when you're you know what it what you could do is when you're you know and when you're attuned to your energy you can align to the frequency that you want to attract from and that's in anything that you want if you have a dream you want to align to that dream and that's a whole nother recording because there's so much that it's not just having a dream there's so much that goes into the steps of creating it that we want to continually vibrate that energy at and we'll, we'll maybe we'll talk about that another another time. So let's just, oh yes, let's just talk about the hierarchy of energy frequency. Okay, when we attract, um, we're, like we attract everything, you know, through our energy as we just talked about, but through our thoughts and our feelings and our emotions. And if you can see here, I'm just going to move my little um, face. You can see here 
um, the upward and downward spiral of our emotions. And these are emotions that we have, you know, every single day, you know, we have so many ups and downs and um, thoughts, you know, something like 70,000 thoughts a day. And, and truly the conscious mind only, only, mind only, only remembers about 40. So we're always active in here, active, active, active. And we're feeling things throughout the day, depending on what we're doing and where we are and who we're connecting with and all of that stuff takes, you take that into account. And also conditioned, like sometimes you might be, uh, in, you know, in a situation that in the past has been triggering for you. So you automatically go into that emotion. And that's tricky because um, but it's good, though, because when you recognise it, you can actually do something about it. So vibrating the, your energy of thoughts, feelings, emotions is what, recre recre what creates our results in life. Let me take a sip of this. Burn a bit fast. So what we're all achieving for, what we're all achieving to, is to live towards the higher spiral of this, this um, graphic here where it's, you know, you're living in joy and love and excitement and empowerment and all those things, all those feel-good feelings. And that's what we want to strive for, to live what I call in love and above. And... Um, and, you know, and, and, and when you look at the lower vibration thoughts and feelings like anger and guilt, shame, insecurity, all those things down the bottom of that, it's not a bad thing. It's, it's, actually, it's actually you recognising what's going on in your body at any given moment. So you'll, I'll give you tools and ways that you can actually turn that into a more empowering emotion once you're aware, I think the, the key word today will be aware, aware. So it's through awareness of how we feel that you can attune your frequency, okay, because we nobody wants to live there, you know, and we don't choose to live there. It's, as I said, from past experiences, triggers and, um, and things that have happened that have buried us, buried in our unconscious that are triggered, that are there, and we don't even know that they're there. So I think the key is to really just create the awareness and feel into what it is that's really going on for you in any given moment. So I love this graphic because it gives you a visual of where you're actually heading, where you, where you want to live from, you know. And I'm not saying this can happen like 100% of the time. For goodness sakes, we're human beings living in, you know, human experience. Well, actually, we are spiritual beings living a human experience okay so that's a good one to think about so if we're attracting everything around us by our thoughts and feelings having awareness of our thoughts emotions and feelings is imperative to master you know to live in that higher and to live in that higher vibration frequency of love and above so just tune into yourself right now just sit for a moment and just feel into like it's a really good practice just to just to be centered and tune into feet on the ground and sitting upright. Just tune into how you're feeling in this moment. Okay. What are you thinking in this moment? What am I projecting out of me in this moment? And what do I want to project out of me into the world? These are great questions to ask yourself in any given moment when you're feeling a little bit shaky and something's going on. You know, take the time to stop, be present and feel into what you are actually feeling. All right. Very, very, very powerful process. And I would do this regularly on a regular basis, not just, you know, once every blue moon. This needs to become a part of your, your life, yeah, the part of your living, okay, a process that you can do. It's free. It's simple. Asking questions is the most empower, powerful way to get, you know, immediate answers and really helps you to tune into what's, what's going on so you can change it, yeah? Amazing. So how do you know when you are attuned to your high fre highest frequency? How do you know? Like, what does it feel like? And from 
what I've studied and what I've practiced and what I've heard um, and in different spiritual groups that I've been a part of and masterminds and women that, um, you know, I connect with that all practice this work, this is what they say. You feel a sense of calm, centeredness as you move through your day, achieving your to-do list with ease. You're, you're, you're in a state of non-reactive to any pressures or people or challenges or those things that, you know, you feel like you're, you're going to, you know, stress out in that environment. You are, nothing rattles you. You are solid, really solid. You're attracting magnetically without any effort. You become, it becomes a point where you actually start to think of things and then before you know it, has anyone ever experienced that? Yeah. So when you, yeah, exactly. So so yeah, when you think of things and, and they land and they or they come. Um, so um, you're living from a place of contentment. I used that word before. I love that word because one of my clients recently told me, um, um, we've been working together for about four months now. And she said, and she's actually been through the worst situation that anyone would want to be through um, in the last few months. And through this this um, process she's been able to find that place of contentment like that sense of peace who doesn't want that like no matter what's going on you are in that place you're clear you know you know what you you know your next steps are you're focused to move forward you make decisions from clarity and discernment that are best for you and usually when they're best for you they're best for others and they're best for the planet so you're making better choices about what your body needs what your what where you know what your mind needs what you want to put in your body how you want to exercise how you want to move all of that stuff to better your um, inner wellness so um, and that's that's just that area, but also in business, you know, making those decisions that are going to keep you moving forward and your dreams forward. Um, you'll have consistent energy, which is interesting. Um, well, not really, because when you're in that vibration, you just your frequency is, you know, at a rate where it's 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 high. Um, so you'll have less illness and ailments. It's really rare to get from well to get sick, um, and if you do, you move through it really quickly because. Anything that happens, tapping, happening for you to you for a, a purpose, okay, it happens to us, not happens for us, not to us, for a purpose to make you aware that something's out of alignment. You know, your vibration's a bit off, and it's a good chance, an opportunity for you to do something about it. So, see the possibilities in in sometimes you know not having um, a good experience so you are tuned in and aware of your energy emotions and thoughts and know exactly how to shift it yeah when you are as I said you know being hit with an ailment or something um, it's an opportunity to shift it and then you're aware of your inner guidance systems system and I like to call the inner guidance system is your tuning fork your guidance that's going to guide you to the next step how you're feeling what you're you know when you're feeling these things and when you're thinking these things what's next what's next for me and knowing how to get out move through that and out of that all righty just gonna check in how's everybody feeling thumbs up thumbs down <laughs> yep awesome thank you so um so why tuning your frequency is so important for your success? Okay, because we want to receive more of what we want to attract, what we put out there. You know, we go through life doing all this stuff and feel like we're not moving in any direction. And we're right, we're not, because we're not in alignment with our, with our source, with our, you know, vibrational frequency we're achieving from a place of ease and you'll notice I've highlighted some of these other ones that we haven't talked about in the last slide um, that are really important right because you're acting from a place of courage you're you're actually being more aware of your limiting beliefs as they arise as they come up so that you can actually you know do something in that moment and there's some really cool stuff that you can do in that moment 
You know, there's a process that I teach about limiting beliefs in my group program, which turns it, you know, you can turn them around within uh, a minute uh, through a series of questions. So, so that, that's really good. Manifesting from a place of knowing what you want, knowing you're knowing this is the right thing, uh, being more aware of your sabotaging habits. So your awareness is, and, um, is, is more uh, um, enlightened so that you can see what's going on, what your patterns are, your beha behavioral patterns, and um, so that you can change it. Your immune system, I did talk about your health in the last slide, but your immune system and your overall health is so much stronger, right? And you're living from a place of happiness. You're in energy. We talked about that. Um, focused and motivated. Clarity on your next steps. This is a good one. You trust in your ability to make decisions the right decisions for you. You're coming from a place of knowing that, yes, this is right for me because you're feeling into that energy and you're asking those, right, those questions. You're having more meaningful relationships, okay, um, and you're more connected to yourself, feeling balanced, calm and centred, and that's what it feels like, but you will actually achieve that. And living in harmony with your true self. Now, who doesn't want to live in harmony with their true self? My goodness, because you're coming from that place of truth. What's right for you? And, 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 and nothing can, you know, penetrate that. When you're in that place, you're actually so, so solid. So there are all the reasons why it's important. And I didn't mention business or anything like that because business happens naturally when you're operating from these places of centred frequency, energy, alignment. Okay, so that's just a byproduct. If you're in, you know, if you're here for business, then you need to do the work first before you attract the business. So we're working backwards here. Then your business will actually be, you know, in you'll be attracting what you want in business. How to do it? How to how to do it? Okay. Well, through the practice of stillness and listening to your inner guidance and we brought that word up a lot today inner guidance inner guidance is everything it's you your higher being your higher source what you're connected to whatever you want to call it god it's your it's your navigator to direct information that you can you know use and take those steps when you listen and you get those messages and the message could be clean up your office <laughs> All right, yeah, let's get rid of the clutter so I can have more space. And have you ever noticed when you clean up your home or an area or you clean it clean, the, the energy is lighter, it's lifted, it's more, yeah, it's more inviting to actually do the next steps. So it might be something as simple as that. It's like might say, it might tell you to go for a walk, might tell you to, um, you know, make a phone call call a friend You've got to listen to those messages because in those moments it's happening for a purpose a purpose to take you to that next step of where you're going okay um it could tell you to take regular breaths breaks during the day just to breathe you know and and by the way when you breathe breathe deeply not just you know at your desk but really consciously breathe and I would suggest to people to breathe in very deeply through the nose let's do it together one two three and then let it out but let it out by as if you're blowing through a straw very slowly wow. can you feel that that's your energy calming your nervous system down how how easy and effective and beautiful is that? Unbelievable. Simple, simple little things. Movement, you know, practice an intentional movement. We want to shift stuck energy or what is stuck in our energy out of our body. So if you're feeling stuck during the day and you don't know what's going on, just move. 
move yeah move your neck move move just do something to move that vibration I practice yoga I love my yoga and um and it's such an and powerful because you're actually intentionally focusing on the body so when you're choosing you know could, uh, any of the practices that you practice want to practice tai chi qigong whatever it is um then then practice from you know being have intention with it have intention with it and through an intentional gratitude practice this is a powerful practice in its own and just taking a moment I teach my ladies to set their um, phone uh, reminders five times a day, five times a day to stop and practice your gratitude. And when I say practice your gratitude, it's practicing with an intention to actually stop not just thinking gratitude, but feeling gratitude. I'm so grateful and happy that my day is flowing so beautifully today. Anything. And it has to be a different gratitude every single time, not the same gratitude every every time you stop to pray gratitude. So happy that I have this beautiful tea to support me in my energy. So, you know, little things are really, really important. Um, self-care, the practice of self-care, nourishing your body, mind, and spirit will put you in a direct feel good vibration you know it's a vibration oh I'm pampering myself I'm feeling good having a bath putting a mask whatever it is you know have a practice of intentional self-care now I know I'm probably preaching to the converted here and but I cannot stress enough how important these things are for your success and aligning your energy for that success. So awareness of your feelings, emotions, we've talked about that, checking in regularly your inner guidance system and re-collaborating your energy by using one of these methods. Plus having the resources. Oh, mostly time people just don't have the resources or they're so busy doing 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 they're not taking the time to check in and um and i feel like with a resource and i have created one for you so that's exciting um you can track your you know if you're moving forward you can track how you're doing in any given moment throughout your day and um so yes yeah, so many how to's that that's just a few that's just a couple so if you're ready to start living your highest frequency and um and at high frequency attraction energy life and you're ready to create the ultimate success to live more abundantly in love and above vibrate at a frequency it continually attracts the good to you consistently take only inspired action only inspired action how many times we take an action that is just like oh I don't really want to do this and I mean and 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 it's not going to bring the results if that's the energy that you're coming from and you haven't been guided to do that why do it why do it and yes I understand there's times we have to do things that we don't really like you know like the washing and the ironing or whatever I don't iron <laughs> don't like it but you know doing things that that you know are not so enjoyable um but when we're talking about your goals and dreams then you only need you only want to take inspired action what you have been guided to take and when you're working on yourself and your energy you will receive those messages okay and you can move forward with much more ease um then and how to shift your energy in any given moment so you can keep moving trusting your inner guidance system there it is again trusting your inner guidance system I'm going to say that a few times trusting your inner guidance system because I really want that to sink in and be in a non-resistance like energy to receive because often we're in as I said we're in go 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 all the time our energy is moving forward all the time we're not sitting back in our body and open to receiving this is a practice in itself, receive, receive, receive. What am I willing to receive today? And that's a really powerful practice in itself. So you can call in exactly what you want and magically it just appears. 
um, and creating a safe place. Like you have to make a space and time. You have to make that time to relax your mind and release any emotions that are coming up. That's so, so important. And then realigning yourself with, uh, and re-collaborating your energy so you can move into a more expanded version of who you are because we're living a life of not really who we are. We do, we're living on a treadmill of the hamster wheel because we think we have to. But when you're doing the practices and, and living from this place, you're actually walking into a much more expanded version of yourself. So um, that, if you're ready for that, I have something amazing. I have something amazing. And I created this with the intention of aligning your energy and your frequency to take back control of your life and put your own healing in your hands. So for people, so it can actually reach so many more women out there in the world, you know, having a tool like this to actually put in the hands of the women who need it. Well, everybody needs it. Everybody needs it. If you're not working on your energy mindset, aligning your energy, your frequency, then um, you are going to be, I'm sorry, but you will be struggling for a very, very long time. It's so, so important. It's a must. It's a priority. It's, it's what's going to create your amazing life, your amazing magical life. It's what's going to create that. So, you know, this toolkit is a guide that you can follow, that you can have beside you, that you can check in with, that you can use every single day to check in with your guidance system, to check in with what is going on for you, to really, really get yourself back in that place when you're finding you're getting a little bit off track. It'll bring you back. It's going to bring you back. It's going to guide you back to what you need for you in that moment and it's everything I believe it's everything you need that will change your life in a very powerful way what does it consist of well office welcome it's got a welcome it's got a video there too I've um, created a video that will tell you how to get the most out of it and a little bit about myself so that you can see me um, but it's got my monthly tracker and you can use this as a weekly tracker if you like you either or it's up to you on what action steps you're going to take and that could be a goal or a dream that you have even if it's a big dream that you have put it down make that dream like make it as big as you want because I believe anything is possible and we don't know until we put it out there what's going to come back to us so monthly life goal you can do it with both and um, but I feel like the monthly will give you the month if you're in business obviously we want monthly checks we want to check check in see what worked what didn't work and you know adjust it as we go even weekly so what's your focus what are you focusing on and then implementing some action steps and when you do this really check in use the raise your vibration checklist first because this is, this is all the things we talked about, well, a lot of the things we talked about just now, which you can use to get yourself into that vibrational alignment, that frequency that's going to give you the answers, all right? And I would sit in that before you did your goal tracker because you will actually be guided then to what it is you want to do, what your focus is for the month, and ask, what, are, what do I need to do? What's the first step? And listen, I feel that, that the, the most important part, the most, most powerful part here is to actually wait for it to come through. And, you know, some of the greatest minds in the world, um, way back to Einstein and all these people, um, Dow Carnegie and, and all these amazing uh, success builder, uh, successful people that this, in business and in life, they had a system where they would once a month or once every six months or once a year, they would come together. They'd go to a, 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 a remote place and sit in the woods by the fire and brainstorm each other's, each other's um, issue or problem or challenge or whatever they wanted or, or, or goal or dream that they wanted to work on in that moment. And they would each 
put one one person would put it out there and the, the group would sit there in silence together for one minute and they would um, ask, you know, what, what does he need to know for he, in order for him to move forward? And they would trust that would come through and each of them would share an idea of how that would, um, what came through and how that, what they could do to help. And then, of course, you check in with yourself and go, does that feel right for me? And know that, okay, well, that's my next step. So this is so, so powerful to use um, in many ways. You've got a self-esteem journaling. I think journaling is a really important part of our daily or weekly life or when we're feeling stuck. If you don't feel like you can journal every day, if things are coming up, get it out on paper. Get it out. Let it. It's a great way to notice what's going on inside too. Um, and then you've got, you know, something you can move towards. Manifestation reflex. Re, I was going to say reflexology. Re, <laughs> that's a good. That's a good modality to practice. Um, reflection journal. Okay. Um, I am manifesting. What do you want to manifest? You know. Again, what what are your dreams? What are your goals? What do you what do you want in your life? And um, and what it looks like. So so the thing is, right? Our mind talks in pictures. Okay, so when we think a thought, we get a picture. But if we if we're thinking a, a thought of fear and um, you know anxiety and the future and what may 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 or may not happen because we don't know, we haven't been there yet, then you are then you you're creating that right. So what you want to do here is. What does the end, when it says, what does the end result look like? Okay, the end result looks like a picture of what you're doing and, and putting all the emotions in that. How does it make you feel? Who are you with? Where? Where, where are you? You know, where are you in this creating? So having the end result in mind and, and, and really visualizing what that looks like. And you can do this in the form of pictures. You can draw, you can make, make it, and you can have it somewhere on your wall, which is keeping you to go towards that every time you see that. You can make a collage if you like, have it there as a visual. Like, yes, that's my dream. So it reminds you that's where I'm going, keeps you on track. Um, and, how, and how it's changing your daily life. So having a clear picture is a really powerful process in manifesting what it is you want. And then you've got your truth and anxiety. So if you have a belief that comes up, anxiety and truth, if you have a belief that comes that inhibits you while you're going for your dream, while you're going for what you want to create in your life, then challenge it. Ask it, is this true? Is this true? And wait for the answer. And most, 99 times out of 10, nine times out of 10, it's not true. It's just something that the mind has made up. So, and then you want to write what's true, what is true, the opposite to that anxiety or that belief that you're actually wanting to create. So I feel like this is an incredible tool. And some of you here have already been using this and I've had some incredible feedback from many ladies that have used the toolkit. And the first one was Elsa, simple, easy to follow. And as a mum and business owner, I needed this toolkit to get me my priorities in place. Also managed to set goals and keep track of them. I'm enjoying Raise the Vibration Checklist the most, which is what we're talking about today. And um, can't wait to get my day started, you know. And that's just one. Oh, Patsy, I just went, oh, there we are. Sunday, and Patsy's here with us today, was the first day that she looked at this a few months ago and she was journaling in a special book that she had um, and following the guidelines that, like, that was in the, in the toolkit Loving it. It makes me want to write more and let my mind flow. So, and I know um, Patsy's a real, is a, an amazing writer as well. And she's also a, a fantastic, um, uh, she's in Peru actually, and joining us today in this live. But uh, she is a travel, travel, uh, prof, what's the best word? Travel professional. She takes, she actually organizes um, tours for women or people. I always talk women because I work with so many women, but for people to um, around her country and watching her on Instagram is fantastic. So 
um, ch check her out on my Instagram and follow her. She is doing some beautiful, I love watching it and the food and the culture and, oh, it's so amazing. So who else have we got? Ah, uh, cha-cha. This has given me exactly what I need. Um, oops, I missed, I'll go back. This has given me exactly what I needed and now prioritise myself and choose not to be busy and do more of the things that, um, this was in the first week, by the way, ladies. This was the first week of having the toolkit. They all sent me their feedback. And she used to be a dancer. I'm so excited about my future and I'm using the and enjoying many meditation apps now. So she's actually sourced some meditation apps and she's using them for um, helping her to get into a vibrational alignment with herself. So uh, I've had so many updates since this this actual um, testimonial and and she attracted a, her job she'd been looking for a job for for months she's a young mum she's got a baby and she'd been looking for work for so long and it was about the second or third week of doing the work okay we 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 got to do the work we there's no way around it of following the toolkit she manifested a job and she is so happy because they means that they for her it means they can move out of their little apartment where she was living with her mother-in-law and baby and husband and and it was so cramped and now really starting to dream big about creating her own space for their own little family and that just is so amazing um she sent me a video as well which is up on my socials if anyone wants to have a look at that um Darby is a mom a busy mom I think she's got about five children and she's um somewhere in America and she said it is actually helped her reevaluate how to do things and thought that um that she felt we're already working but maybe some tweaking and I had an update with her as well about actually getting into action and doing more because she's a, she um is a blogger uh so business is a blogger so she's felt that it's kept her moving more towards what she's needing to be doing rather than um, procrastinating, which a lot of us do. So it has so many benefits for you to create um, more of what you want in your in your life, in your world, and dream big. Like we have this one wonderful life that we 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 just dream so small. You know, we're thinking about getting through the day or getting to the next day or what we need to do. But how about you dream about where you're going and what you really want, okay, and having that picture and creating that picture, oh, <laughs> creating that picture in, um, you know, for you in any given moment. So having that vision of what it is you want and really aligning with that. Now, the toolkit, um, oh, I should put the, if I can, not share my screen. I'm just going to end this here so I can get you the link for the toolkit. Thank you. I look forward to hearing your results. Of the... So if you have any questions, let me know. I'm just going to do, 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 do. stop share. I'm just going to um, give you the link. I'll pop it in the, uh, hang on. That didn't work. I'm so good with technology, can't you tell? Get out of there. <laughs> uh, so the Ultimate Wellness Toolkit, you can get it through this link and um, I'll pop it in the chat so that if you want, you can purchase that. It's Usually it was $27. So for those watching the live and those watching the replay um we'll can access um this for there it is for um 17 dollars okay there's also what i want to gift you today is also a planner which complements this really well so for you for those that are in business or busy like or, bus, or busy lifestyles um and need more structure and more you know a, a more direction um, it does come with a planner, a plan, well, it doesn't come with a planner, but there is an option to purchase the planner. Don't purchase the planner because I want to gift that to you for free um, as a bonus for actually getting the toolkit. 
And with that planning, you'll also get from me a 30-minute planning session. Uh, how's that? Um, I'll open up some spots so I can give you a planning session on how to best use the planner get to get the results and also, you know, more, more around the toolkit for you. Okay. So that's the, any questions, if you want to open up your, um, just checking the time. Yeah. If you want to open up your line and ask anything, just put your hand up. Let me know. Mm -hmm. no that's all very very good I'm happy that I hope it all made well, I'm sure it made sense <laughs> but I just want to remind you that your inner guidance system is the most powerful tool you have if you stop use the toolkit listen and see what comes through for you because it's all in the energy waiting for you. It's waiting for you. It's waiting for you to live your life to the fullest. So, you know, it's your opportunity to shine and create from source. And, you know, source is big, so much bigger than yourself. And, and you're, you're actually connecting from, you're actually connecting from a space of freedom and service service to the world how can i serve how can i serve how can i serve so if that is um uh if oh if that is if that is no questions and that's it i also wanted to just let you know that i have um oh, last last group program for the year it's the last group program for the year and i'm not sure whether i'm going to do another group next year because i'm in the process of putting this program up online so people can access it um, on their own, which is which is great, but it's always so much better when you're working with a small group of women in a mastermind like this, um, working on a different topic every week, getting home play to do so you keep accountable and moving forward. So that's open for registration. If you're interested, let me know and I will send you the interested link for that um and i've only got one i think one one-on-one -on -one spot left to if, you, if you're interested in working one-on-one -on -one into really really you know getting in alignment and working and living your life to the fullest um that's available as well but i really want you to download the offer and i really want you to start using it if that's all you can do that is a great place to start so thank you all so much for watching and um and you know where i am my socials my email anytime you need anything reach out i'm here for you i love you all and god bless thanks for watching bye patsy